Hello, this is Susan Smith Nash, and I'm here to talk to you about the argumentation essay, also known as taking a position. And I'm going to talk to you a bit today about the best ways to get started and things that you really, really should include in the argumentation essay. And most of all, the idea that the argumenta argumentation essay is a philosophical exercise in providing a series of positions and evidence, but more than anything, that's all about reality and convincing people that your take on reality is viable and also that they can take action, even if that action has to do with like accepting a, an idea or a concept or purchasing something, but at any rate, it's at its very core persuasive. So here I'm going to use the example why I think small stores are the, are the best. And I'm going to talk about this tiny little store that I came across in the North Shore of Oahu, Hawaii in May and how wonderful it was and what a little treasure and what an experience it was. It was very, very different than going into like a, a generic big box store. And there are plenty of generic big box stores in Oahu. In fact, I experienced a Target. And it, okay, it was a little different in Hawaii than it was in, say, Norman, Oklahoma. But it wasn't at all the same experience as going to this magical little little store filled with with um, coffee beans that were harvested just five miles away and, or coffee beans harvested in the other island and all kinds of things that were were homemade and artisan and handcrafted totally a wonderful experience but at any rate here I go the coffee beans are in glass jars not in plastic bags the beans were harvested just a few miles away. Natural, local, the best. So already I'm taking a position. I'm explaining why I love small stores. So I'm using this as an example of an argumentation essay and the planning process. Let's take a look at argumentation essay steps. First of all, we are taking a position. So defend it. And as you defend your position, recognize the other side. Disarm their own arguments. I also highly re recommend using a photo to trigger your thoughts and provide a topic. What do you think? What is your position? Step back. Take a look. Big picture. Why do you care? Why does it matter? To be persuasive, you kind of have to engage the affect. That, it, that means that you have to get people connected and caring. Okay, now let's put a background paragraph in, and then let's look at different types of evidence. Statistics, testimonials, case studies. And then make sure that you include the important details. And then finally, deeper philosophical implications then a conclusion that looks to the future and touches your life. Okay, so let's think, let's think about the photo. Here I am <laughs> in this wonderful little store, and I don't have the, the coffee beans in glass jars in my, at, at my back, but you can see all kinds of things that were made and handcrafted in Hawaii. And it was just such a joy. You could see, you just feel the energy and creative spirit of the people who lived there. So, at any rate, I was thinking, it's so wonderful to get away from big box stores. Here I am in a cool shop that features artisan items, quirky handmade things, and lovely organic coffees and sweets and desserts and chocolates and not to mention soaps <laughs> in the factory that's next door. I feel grounded. So in my essay, I will tell you why this is a great way 
to build a store. So with that, I'm going to conclude and encourage you to write an argumentation essay on something that you care about as well. So this is Susan Smith-Nash, and I'm talking about taking a position and argumentation. <laughs>